Welcome to Shortcut Reviews where we get right to the point and today I'll be looking at the Kershaw Chill. Next to the Rat Model 2 and next to the Spider Codelica you can see that the Kershaw is the same length just um, a smaller dimension in this height and even in thickness and we'll get a deeper look at that in just a moment. Kershaw uh, Chill on the dollar bill and next to the Zebra Pen you can see you get a full size handle a full length handle and a full length blade. Again, just not uh, quite full size. And, and we'll take a look at that. So it's a it's a J.R. Martin design uh, made in China out of HCR 13 MOV that you'd expect from Kershaw. It's got just a bit of a hollow grind to this. It's stone washed. It's not sharp where it's not supposed to be sharp. And it is sharp where it's supposed to be sharp. Nice flat, a little bit of belly, nice point. Probably the only place the grind goes really sour is at the very back end of this knife. And you can see it's, it, it abruptly ended. Um, that can be cleaned up uh, by hand. It has a nice landing zone in the back of the blade. It is not jimped. And if you've ever seen Nothing Fancy's review of this knife, you jimped it with a little Dremel wheel to get some traction because it does. your thumb does kind of want to ride up over that. Uh, this is too small for a choke up choil or finger choil. So you have a nice choil on the handle right here with the liner lock. Is engaged and it is a four uh, on my medium sized hand it is a full four fingered knife and the thumb does land on that zone pretty well so uh, if anything it looks uh, profile wise it looks like a folding steak knife it rides on both phosphorus bronze and Teflon bushings so it's got two on either side it's not one and one it's 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 bronze and then Teflon it's a very smooth knife but because the blade is so light it's not an awesome flipper Here's the flipper tab. There's no jimping on the tab. It's very smooth in the pocket, which is nice, and there's really no need for to, to, to jimp this. In light switch with no wrist, you, oh, actually that was a little wrist. I've gotten so used to doing a little wrist with this knife. And push button will get you, will get you usually about there. Uh, so a little flip, um, and that gets that knife open. But it, it has to do with, this knife is so narrow this way that this, this pivot seems to need to be pretty tight to remove a fair amount, or not all, but almost all of the side to side play out of it. And by the time that's tight enough, uh, this knife just doesn't flip as well as it could. There's a stop pin right there. It is, uh, it is not uh, screwed in, it is just collared on the steel liner. So there's steel liners, FRN on the outside, um, which is nice. It's got a nice bit of texture, not too much, not too little. Plastic backspacer that takes up about two-thirds of the back, three screws into steel barrels, and the lanyard tube is also within that plastic backspacer, so you don't have to worry about the blade hitting that at all. Ergonomically, uh, not bad at all. A little bit of a hot spot on the lock bar, as so many of these have. And there is the lock bar, about, I don't know, maybe 30%. It's There's a nice little cutout to get to it. It's pretty thin, handles, handles well. In the pocket is where I think it starts to go a little wrong. Um, this is the, the Kershaw Chill in the pocket. It carries very well this way and this way. Uh, this clip's actually pretty tight. It's got a lot of grip to it and it is riding on top of the Texture G10. So you may um, complain that it rips up your pants a little if that's an issue. It also is pretty tall in the pocket. Uh, this clip could have gone deep carry uh, with a little loop over and it would have been a lot nicer. The screw spacing, the screw spacing is a little odd. Um, they're not vertical. This might actually work better as a gentleman's folder buried in the buried in the bottom of the pocket and just removing the clip. So in conclusion, if you have a need for a folding steak knife, uh, that's very reasonable. This is $21. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a well, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's well built. I think for a couple more bucks, uh, I would certainly, uh, for four or five dollars more, look at the Rat in Aus 8. A little bit taller blade, gonna cut as well or better. Uh, feels a little bit more ergonomic in the hand, even though really for such a thin handle, there is nothing at all wrong with the chill. It's not gonna bother you at all for EDC carry. It might not be a heavy, you might not wanna process a deer with it, but it's uh, gonna be perfect for suburbia. So thanks for joining uh, us at Shortcut Reviews, and stay sharp, and please subscribe.